Hello everyone, welcome to Time Online Classes. Today we will discuss symbols and notations, inequalities based questions and are very very important for prelims exams. At least 3 to 5 questions are expected from the area of symbols and notations. And these models are important for IBPS PO, SBA PO, IBPS clerk, SBA clerk and for all exams. So let's see how these kind of questions to be solved. Now in this kind of questions you can save your time by solving in less time. Okay. You can spend extra time in your puzzles area. Okay. So five questions are given. You may be able to complete it in one and a half minute to two minutes if you are thorough with the concept. Okay. Now. In this questions, directions for questions 1 to 5. In this questions, the relation between different elements is shown in the statements. These statements are followed by a two conclusions. Okay. So, we will discuss the questions later. Even before that, you will be having a three basic points in symbols and notations which we need to follow. So, let me discuss the three points. Then we can go ahead with the questions and we will be able to complete easily. Okay. So, let me discuss the three points. First one. With the examples, we'll discuss. Okay. A greater than B, B greater than C, and C greater than D. So, this is a one kind of statement. A greater than B, B greater than C, C greater than D. So, with the help of this example, we'll discuss the first basic point. Okay. Now, between the A and D, what kind of operators we have? Greater than, greater than, and greater than. So, all are the same type of operators, right? So, what do you mean by operators? Greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to and equal to. Generally, we come across these five operators in our exams. Alright. So, between the A and D, between A and D, we have the same kind of operator. What is that? Greater than. So, between A and D, if we have the same type of operator, the conclusion between A and D also will be same. A greater than D. Or vice versa of that, that is D less than A. Now, between A and C, Again, we have the same kind of operator greater than and greater than. So, again, my conclusion will be A greater than C, which implies C less than A. Between B and D, again, I have the same kind of operator greater than and greater than. So, B greater than D, otherwise, or vice versa, D less than A. So, what is the first basic point is, between the elements, if we have all same type of operators, the conclusion also we get it as the same. Okay, between the two operators, if we have the same kind of operators, the conclusion also we get it as the same. So, this is the first basic point. Okay, keep this in your mind. Same operator in statement, in conclusion also same, we will get or vice versa of that. This is an example for that. Okay, now let, me, let us check the second one. Let us check the second basic point. See, if you take any kind of question that has to fall under these three basic points. Okay. So, that's why I we are discussing these three points. Now, second one is A greater than B, B greater than or equal to C, greater than or equal to D and greater than E. Okay. So, this is a one type of statement. Okay. Now, let us discuss this. Now, let me take A and C. What are the operators that we have between A and C greater than? greater than or equal to. Now, I am trying to identify the relation between A and C. Now, we are trying to identify the relation between A and C. So, let us try to identify the relation between A and C. Okay. So, it is a second basic point. Now, what is the statement given? A greater than B and B greater than or equal to C. This statement, we can write it in two ways. Because B greater than or equal to C. So, what is the first statement you will get? A greater than B or B greater than C. What is the second statement you will get? A greater than B equal to C. A greater than B equal to C. So, statement 1, statement 2. Okay. Now, again, A greater than B, B greater than C. Both are same type of operator. When both are same type of operator, from the statement 1, what is the conclusion that I can draw between A and C? A greater than C, which is nothing but first basic point. It is our first basic point, right? Yes. Now, come to this statement. A greater than B, B equal to C. A greater than B, B equal to C means in the place of B, what I can write? C because B equal to C. Now, what it becomes? A greater than C. So, using the second statement also, what is the conclusion that I am able to derive? A greater than C. 
a greater than c so in both the cases my answer is same a greater than c a greater than c so which is nothing but between the operators between the operators if you find greater than greater than or equal to so preference will be given to greater than no need to write every time like these two statements between elements greater than greater than or equal to give the preference to greater than okay now here we have c greater than or equal to d d greater than e okay let us solve that also c greater than or equal to d d greater than e again we can write it in two ways c greater than d d greater than e is one statement what is another statement c equal to d and greater than e second statement right now c greater than d greater than e again it falls under the first basic point greater than greater than same kind of operator so what is the conclusion that i will get c greater than e now here c equal to d means in the place of d what i can write c so c greater than e again the conclusion is same c greater than e so not only greater than greater than or equal to greater than or equal to greater than also you will get the same type of conclusion it means combination of these two greater than greater than or equal to leads to greater than similarly similarly less than less than or equal to leads to less than less than less than or equal to leads to less than fine less than less than or equal to leads to less than similarly less than or equal to less than also leads to less than don't worry okay so these are our second basic point first one is between the elements if you have the same kind of operator conclusion also we get the same between the elements if you have greater than greater than or equal to combination greater than will come less than less than or equal to combination less than will get it is the second basic point okay now what is the third one okay let us discuss the third one i will erase some unnecessary part and please keep on noting the information or you may take the screenshot of this okay i don't have any issue now even before that let us try to identify the relations now we discuss the two points right so with the help of these two points we'll discuss the second one second conclusion in detail okay right now see here let us try to draw all the possible conclusion that we can draw in this second statement a and c greater than greater than or equal to so a greater than c a and d greater than greater than or equal to leads to greater than greater than greater than or equal to leads to greater than so a greater than d again a and d till here a to d greater than so greater than greater than again it leads to greater than so a greater than e quite simple right now b and d same kind of operator so b greater than or equal to d i will get now b and d till d it is greater than or equal to right greater than or equal to greater than or equal to leads to greater than or equal to now d and e greater than or equal to greater than or equal to leads to greater than so what i will get b greater than e now c and e greater than or equal to greater than leads to greater than so c greater than e so this kind of conclusion that we can derive right fine now first basic point and second basic point let's see the third one it is the last one a greater than b less than c okay a greater than b and b less than c so a greater than b is the first statement what is the second statement b less than c which is nothing but again c greater than b so it's the second statement right so a is greater than b c is greater than b now what is the relation between a and c we cannot say a may be greater than c a may be equal to c or a may be less than c that relationship is not given only we can say a is greater than b c is greater than b okay so when this type of situation comes it leads to it does not follow since we are unable to say it is follows because we don't know what is the exact relation between them as it is not follows we can say that it is does not follow so these are the three basic points simply opposite signs does not follow greater than greater than or equal to preference will be given to greater than less than less than or equal to preference will be given to less than same kind of operators same conclusions and most of the students will get the doubt here if it is given like this if it is given like this how to take it quite simple if the equal to is given if you consider from this way equal to is equal to greater than right because b equal to c means in the place of b what i can write c a greater than c if i am going in this way b equal to c is nothing but in the place of c what i can write b so b greater than or equal to d so don't worry about the equal to okay right a greater than or equal to b 
and b equal to c what i can write in the place of b what i can write c so what is the conclusion it leads to a greater than or equal to c fine now let us answer the questions by keeping these three points in our mind okay first one we have given single statement p greater than s s greater than b equal to g so and so and so and so i'm not interested in reading the entire statement i am more interested in conclusions what is our first conclusion p greater than or equal to a what is our first conclusion p greater than or equal to a so p is here a is here so identify the relation between p and a greater than greater than leads to greater than greater than and equal to leads to greater than greater than greater than or equal to greater than p greater than a is my answer but what is given p greater than or equal to a so does not follow because it is greater than or equal to they are saying why should i go for equal to when it is conformly greater than so one does not follow a and t so a is here t is here so identify the relation between a and t less than less than less than same kind of operator less than less than less than so a less than t so only two follows only two follows is which option second option it is in second option so choice two choice two quite simple right next statement number two question number two we have given two statements but don't worry solving procedure is same i'm not interested in combining the statements i will go for my conclusion and according to the conclusion i will try to combine m s now here i have the m here i have the s now in these two statements what is the common element or is the common element right now i will take the r i will take r as a base now what conclusion is between m and s so left side to r and right side to r i am going to take these two terms m and s you may take it in any order s m you may take it either side you have to take m and s now what is the relation that you have between m and r check it less than less than less than so m less than r r and s r less than s so what is the conclusion that you will get less than less than less than so m less than s so first conclusion follows now come to the second conclusion u and t now here you have the u and here you have the t again to combine the u and t what is the common term r again take the r as a base so one side u or one side t what is the relation that you have between u and r less than so take the less than u less than r what is the relation that you have between r and t less than less than leads to less than less than less than or equal to leads to less than so r less than t so u less than r r less than t so less than less than leads to less than so u less than t what is your second conclusion u less than t so second conclusion also follow so both one and two follow so choice five so my answer is choice five even you need to avoid writing this okay in the exam you won't get that much time less than less than less than less than less than or equal to less than you should revise in your mind not using the pen and paper okay now see come to the question number three now again we have given the single statement now this time without writing that we'll try to solve it okay i mean we'll think uh, we'll think in our mind what is the conclusion between a and r as we have only single statement no need to combine it a and r a is here or is here so i have the opposite signs so it does not follow that's it next t less than or equal to k so t is here k is here less than less than less than less than less than or equal to less than less than less than or equal to less than so what i will get t less than k but what is given t less than or equal to k so it does not follow why should i go for less than or equal to when it is confirmly less than so what is my answer neither one nor two follows so choice for quite simple right if you practice more this kind of questions you can complete it in very very less time maximum 15 to 20 seconds each question so choice four now come to the question number four now we have two statements but don't worry now p and t right p and t to combine the p and t what is the common term a so let us take the a so one side p one side t now p and a what is the relation less than less than less than a and t less than less than less than less than so p less than t so one follows very easy right now come to the second one t greater than or equal to k anyway t is here k is here to combine these two what is the common term a so one side t one side k what is the relation between a and t less than less than less than less than a less than t nothing but t greater than a what is the relation between a and k equal to greater than 
leads to greater than not greater than or equal to please be careful a equal to n means in the place of n what i can write a so a greater than k a greater than k so t greater than k but what is given t greater than or equal to k so does not follow so only one follow so it is choice one so your answer is choice one if you practice more it becomes very easy now question number five g equal to e again single statement now what is the conclusion a o again o a so both the conclusions are for a and o only so a is here o is here greater than or equal to greater than or equal to greater than or equal to a greater than or equal to o it is my conclusion it is my definite conclusion a greater than or equal to o but what is the first conclusion a greater than o can you say definitely a greater than o no it may be equal so i cannot say definitely but can you say o equal to a no it may be greater than i cannot say a greater than o i cannot say but what i can say one of these two has to follow because a is greater than or equal to a is greater than or equal so one of these two has to follow so which leads to either or so to get the either or the terms has to be the same but it need not to be always there are some situation where without the terms are same we may get either or okay so either one or two follows but sometimes uh, most of the students will commit the mistake here by looking blindly at the same type of terms here you it will choose either or it is not correct it may not be true all the cases okay to get the either or the terms to be same but it need not that if the terms in both the cases if the terms are same it leads to either or it is not kind like that let's say an example a greater than b b greater than or equal to c this kind of statement is given one conclusion is given a greater than c another conclusion is given a equal to c so operators are same so can i go for either or no because i have definite conclusion greater than i will choose only this okay so though the terms are same it not leads to either or so please be careful so choice 3 fine no uh, it is not that every time to get the either or the terms has to be same let me take the another example let me take another example okay uh right i'll take like th this one only there is a one statement like a equal to a e equal to a greater than or equal to s greater than or equal to o okay now uh, one of the conclusion is given e greater than o and the another conclusion is given a equal to o no whether it leads to either or not important for us okay it leads to either or though the terms are not same it leads to either or because what is given e equal to a when e equal to a in the place of a what i can write e or in the place of e what i can write a so in the place of e you may write a or in the place of a you may write e right so a greater than o a equal to o yes what is the relation between a and o a greater than or equal to o now what is the relation between e and o e greater than or equal to o so a greater than o or a equal to o e greater than o or e equal to o so still it leads to either or so please be careful fine i hope you are clear with the concept so that's it for today thank you for joining the class have a nice day